Not only did Dance Marathon succeed in supporting cancer patients and their families, but the University of Iowa Biology Department made a huge leap in cancer research. They were able to track cancer cells in tumors as they formed, which provides new hope for treating cancer in the future. Daisy Lee took a closer look on how 3D video works to study the behavior of tumor formation at the laboratory. Biology professor Saul and his team is the first one to ever use three-dimensional microscope for studying the behavior of cancerous cells engaged in tumor formation. The project is supported by developmental study Hybridoma Bank, which is the major nonprofit monoclonal antibodies bank in the world. The lab is self-sustainable and the funds they made by distributing the antibodies, monoclonal and hybridoma. We decided we would study how tumors form, so we developed a three-dimensional system and we discovered that tumors start in a field and they start as small tumors and then the tumors coalesce, they come together. They don't just stick to each other randomly, they actually send out specialized cells which will actually build cables and then pull the smaller tumor into the bigger tumor and then they will coalesce. And the power of this thing is that we can actually detail how antibodies affect different steps in tumorigenesis. This is the lab that Professor Sol and his team are using for 3D cancer research. Here's some of the work they are doing. My name is Michael Clemmy and I'm a research assistant here in the Saul lab. And so most days I take care of cell cultures. We use a lot of microscopes and then we put these cells onto plates and we view them once we put the antibodies in. And so then the purpose of that is just to kind of see which antibodies react with the cells and we want to return them to normal function. Reporting from Iowa City, Daisy Lee from DITV.